ang talagang instance na hindi ko makakalimutan dito, nung bago-bago ako, may mga pagkakataon na nagpapaanak ako na ang hawak-hawak ko lang ay flashlight. Nabuluklat ang pagkain ko sa rep kasi nga, yun, walang kuryente for two days or three days, ganyan. Mahirap talaga. It is widely known that the Philippines has severe problems with its energy. I believe that the high cost of energy has resulted in our lower rate of industrialization. So if we can only lower the cost of electricity by accelerating the advent of solar energy, we can end poverty in the Philippines in a far faster time than many expected. By harnessing this technology that fits our natural climate, has a low barrier to entry, and can also reach the previously difficult to reach parts of our country. When he started, I think patingin niya is only a dream. So umpisa ngayon, parang tingin niya is nagkakaroon na siya ng uh, kaganapan, yung the dream na yun. We started in four, na aapat na tao na, it's more than 800, um, it's mabot nga ng 900 people. Leon is the youngest boss I've ever had. And he's actually two months younger than my eldest son. And I truly believe in what he wants to happen for this country. We now have operating mini-grids in around a dozen towns, serving around 200,000 Filipinos. Mas maganda na ho ang service namin. Ang pharmacy namin, meron na kaming pharmacy. Air-conditioned na siya, hindi na nasisira ang gamot. Nung ngayon sa, sa panahon ngayon, nandun na ang tiwala namin na kami, kahit anong gawin namin, may power. I think that solar has the potential not only to be a very viable business in the Philippines, but to make a lot of difference in people's lives.